housing crisis is casting a heavy shadow over the New South Wales 2023 elections. One candidate who is posing some radical measures to address the housing crisis is Rachel Evans, the Socialist Alliance candidate for Heffron. Green left accompanied her on a visit to public housing estates in Waterloo and Glebe, which are facing demolition. Hi, my name's Karen Brown. I live in Waterloo Public Housing. I've lived here for about 30 years. This is it behind me. The plan in South Waterloo is for the government to demolish the existing 750 odd dwellings and evict the 1,000 or so tenants from it and to replace them all with about 3,000 high-rise dwellings, 70% of which will be private. The increase in public housing will be a mere 97 units and they will be much smaller than any existing ones. There will be no units for families, there will be no three or four bedroom ones, they will just be small ones for single people. There's about 750 dwellings here and about a thousand people living here who will have to be relocated or evicted. We do pay rent in public housing, we pay 25% of our income. It stands to reason that if there is more public housing then there will be a whole lot more people paying more rent and there will be a whole lot more income. There will be people with jobs paying rent which will be more rent than someone on an age pension for example. So it does make much more sense to have much more public housing with much more people. It also would make public housing a better place to live because there would be a much greater diversity of people living in it. And that's what we all like in our neighbourhoods. Save Waterloo. We need to save Waterloo and we need to save all existing public housing and we need to expand on it. And we need your help and support. So their um, family like terraces. So they have a house. Yeah. So this side. Yeah. I can't remember now. It's a bit ridiculous living here 30 years and all of a sudden you're concerned about it. We're here at Wentworth Park Road. This is your home. Yes. And the government wants to demolish this public housing estate, your home, and they want to build an extraordinary amount of private apartments or social housing or what's the details here? Well, they say that it's going to be, well, the last I read, affordable housing, but that doesn't help me because I don't qualify for that because I'm not working. So whether or not they change that to something else, because they're notorious for that. And what does affordable housing really mean anyway? Yeah. You know, and it's not public housing. And you're also, you're Aboriginal, you're living with a disability and you have lived here for how long? This 30 is your, years. 30 years in Glee. This is your community. Yes. This is part of an ongoing push to privatise public housing land from the state government, Liberal. The Labor Party at the moment have said that they would save Franklin Street, which is a Glee public housing estate, but they haven't said anything about Wentworth Park Road. Yeah, although they had a picture in the last email of this estate. So I'm not sure if they understand that even though they haven't verbally or written-wise committed to saving this estate, they had a picture mm. of this estate at the top of the email. Mm. So, mm, not right, sure. Right, right. <laughs> Mixed messages there. but yeah. So certainly we want to save your home yes. and we want to expand public housing for all but make it beautiful. Yes. So refitting and spending money on refit and refurbishment. Yes. And look, the campaign has been really well waged by yourself, Karen in Waterloo and other public housing tenants across the estates that are under threat. Yeah. Um, what's your message to the state government if they, you know, well, the Labor Party, if they get in to be state government, mm -hmm. what's your message to them? Well, hopefully they come through with their promises and expand that. And unfortunately, well, I just happen to be one of those type of people that is very dubious about what politicians say and they tend to backflip on promises and housing is a human right i mean it's something that it's the very basis of um living you know um 
lots of other things should be done as well you know like we need medical care we need um, we need a lot quite a lot but the basis is you know having this good roof over my head um, you know because I remember where I was at when I first moved here and um, I could barely walk and talk so to come from that background um, and have some kind of healing even though I was living in mould um, <laughs> um, having some kind of stability mm. instead of moving every six months or less mm. um, um, is yeah I really really need that stability mm. I can't keep moving all the time. Mm. At the moment the Paratet government is threatening to privatise um, demolish and evict housing tenants from Waterloo Glee, South Everly, um, Coffs Harbour, it's a real issue across yes. the state. It, we need jobs that are socially useful and environmentally sustainable and it would be very socially useful to be building environmentally sustainable public housing en masse. Yes. And um, yeah, I guess that's the thing is we want to tax the rich so that we can have the funds to build more public housing and yes. it's be good public housing. In the meantime, we're going to stop this demolition and stop the eviction of public housing tenants in, in, in and across Sydney. Uh, we're taking a stand with housing tenants, uh, get involved, action for public housing and hands off Glebe. Uh, they're waging the fight across New South Wales and we know that, you know, we've got a history of green bans in this city too. So green bans stopped the demolition of many sections of Glebe. Um, and many amazing heritage buildings, so we can we can do it again in Sydney. You know, they really should build more public housing because the thing is, public housing shouldn't just be for certain groups of people. It should be for anyone. It's a model that's worked in a lot of different countries. I mean, a lot of countries, uh, oh, I can't remember, is it Singapore? It's mm. like 80% mm. of housing generally is their public housing. Mm. And anybody can live in them. It's just adjustable. You know, your rent is adjust adjustable according to what you're earning, mm. um, which is technically what happens with public housing anyway here. Mm. Um, and it's being eroded. Not, um, not. There's no new public housing. Mm. It, it's more that they're trying to push people into community housing so they're not responsible for especially marginalised people. You know, all this money spent on um, submarines. And the thing is, um, you know, that's just warmongering and, and fear-mongering stuff um, and, and racist, really, let's face it. Um, you know, going to war against China is just... I mean, why? Um, you know, they spread all sorts of lies. And yes, of course, there's things going on in China that are not good. Mm. But war is not the answer to anything. Mm. Mm. Never is the answer to anything. It yeah. just kills people. It ki uh, the people that are fighting, the soldiers themselves. And a lot of the time, people don't want to discuss it. But, um, you know, they're usually young men. They're kids, really, mm. that fight a majority wars mm. that are dying mm. and usually marginalised people as well. Yeah, yeah. The federal government needs to step into housing and they need to fund public housing and we need a massive expansion. The $10 billion that Anthony Albanese has promised for social housing and affordable housing is not enough. They're spending $368 billion on nuclear submarines to kill people with over the next 20 years. They need to spend billions of dollars on public housing, on good quality, environmentally sustainable public housing to solve the housing crisis. The other thing is they need to deal with the vacant properties, vacant dwellings. There's over a million now empty every single night. So we're calling for the government to step in um, and tax, put a vacancy tax on empty properties, but also to forcibly acquire homes that are empty for over 12 months and put them into the public housing stock. This has got to happen.